Hello everybody and welcome back to my second tutorial video on how I get my LPs onto YouTube. The first video was about how I recorded the actual video game footage using uh, fraps. So the second step is getting that recording onto YouTube. So first things first, we've recorded our footage and got through and got our 10 minute video of Medieval 2 Total War and we want to put that onto YouTube. What do we do? Well, Fraps records in uh, it records these video clips in an AVI file and a 10 minute video for Medieval 2 will probably be between 10 and 15 gigabytes, which is huge. <laughs> YouTube allows you to upload videos no more than 2 gig. So, obviously, as you can see, this being uh, between 10 and 15 gig will be far too large to put onto YouTube. So we need to compress the file and get the file in a format that YouTube recognises, and that is how what was that's the rendering process. We convert the file into a I use MP4 and get it less than 2 gig and put that onto YouTube. So how do we do that? Well, I use a program called Vegas Pro. Now there is a free version of this uh, of a program that can do the same job um, which I will do in another video and show you how to use the free software and the main reason why are you oh my god <laughs> bear with me please don't you just hate it when you're recording a video and something like that happens you'll get rudely interrupted but I'll leave it in there for comedy value because it's <laughs> probably quite hilarious for you guys annoying for me. <laughs> right, yeah, as I was saying, I use Vegas Pro to convert my video files. The reason why I use this and not a free software is because I need to also record my Xbox 360 games and I do need to use an editing tool to sort those out. Um, for a PC game that's not using editing software, you might want to choose to use the free software. And I will sh show you how to use that, as I said, on another video. This video is how I use Vegas Pro. So if you've got Vegas Pro, then you can watch this video. Uh, Vegas Pro, just a word of warning, is not free and it is very expensive. It's something like, uh, I think it was £180, $250 or something like that. Like, as I get, it's not, it's just an approximate approximation. Uh, but yeah, very expensive. I'll leave it at that as to how you want to purchase it or get it. So, I'll open up Vegas Pro um, and I will show you how the settings I use to get the high quality videos that I do or relatively high quality videos that I do. Right, here we are. So once Vegas Pro is open, I mean when, it's, when you first open it you might actually see slightly different layout but uh, it doesn't matter. We have a generally have a preview window up here. Down here we have the, the the area where we do the editing, and then up here we have some. You know we can change, put some graphical effects, some transition in, and the explorer bar as well. So as I say, this is how I use Vegas Pro to render my PC and Xbox games and get onto YouTube. This one is focusing purely on the PC games, as mentioned in video number one. So, first things first, we have to transfer our recorded videos into Vegas Pro. So, using the Explorer, we find where we've recorded our videos to. So, mine is defaulted to E Drive, my external hard drive, if we can find it. Du, 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 du. There we go, and click on it there, and it shows us in this side where our videos are. So, I have three videos waiting to be uploaded to YouTube. Now, remember I said when you press F9 and record a 10-minute video, it splits it into three? Well, we can now re-merge them together. So, you just click on the video and drag it down. And click on the video and drag it down. And click on the video and drag it down. And there we go. Video file will be merged together. Now word of warning, these video files I've recorded are something like two seconds, three seconds in length. That's why I've got them all down there, that's why they look extremely small. We can zoom in to those clips and zoom out and do what we need to do with them, but that's for, that's a totally different ball game and I'm not going to cover that here. 
but yeah when you record a full 10 minute video the clips will be as I said quite large 3.9 gig 3.9 gig and whatever else on the end when you click on it a full video size you click on that it will take about two or three minutes to read the file before you can drag it down Vegas Pro hasn't crashed on you it's just trying to read the video so when you click on it rather than it highlighting blue pretty much straight away like it has done for me it'll take two minutes for Vegas Pro to read that and the program will stop responding it hasn't crashed just be patient it will eventually allow you to drag it down so that's that so once we have our PC game dragged down onto the bottom here it's 10 minutes in length we want to now render that video and get it onto YouTube what settings do we use for that the door is knocking I shall have to pause the video and then reconvene stand by ok everybody I'm back we've had a phone call and we've had the door knocking <laughs> Whatever else are we going to have in the middle of this video? I do not know. Right, so, yeah, we've dragged our video onto this here, onto the workspace, and we're ready to get the video converted into a file that YouTube recognises. How do we do it? Well, we need to render it. So, using Vegas Pro, we go to File, and we go to Render As. You save where you're going to render, the f where your rendered file is going to go, so you just click on that and you select your file where you're going to uh, render the video to give it a, a, a title uh, save as type now here's where we go we've got a big 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 list and as I said we're saving it as an mp4 file so you go down to main concept AVC AAC mp4 and then you go to when you first do your first one you go to custom save it as a template well this is where you can save it so you don't have to keep doing the same settings over and over again you will save it the first time using a template I save it as HDPC and then we go to set up the rendering process and how do we do it well custom frame size we put the width as 1280 and the height as 720 1280 by 720 which is HD format I don't tick that allow source to adjust the frame rate Profile main and frame rate we do as 30 frame rates per second, which is 29.97. Field order none, progressive scan, aspect ratio on one, number of reference frames on two, and click on use the blocking filter. Then I click on a variable bit rate with a maximum of 8 million and an average of 8 million and that is the settings I use for the video for the audio include the audio have that ticked the frame rate is 128,000 and the sample rate is 44,100 and then project video rendering quality set to best once you have set those settings up click on save and it will save this as your template and it's as simple as that. Once you have everything set up, it will just give you a, a quick debrief of the settings you've used in this box here, so you can double check them. You've got it on MP4, you've set up your video uh, settings, you've saved it as your template, you then just click on save, and it will pr begin the rendering process. Now for a 10 for a, a full 10 minute video of Medieval 2 or Sims on my computer, which is pretty decent it takes between 30 and 50 minutes depending on the quality of your computer it might take longer it might take shorter this is rendering very quick because these are very small file sizes and then once the rendering is complete you go to the video where uh, location where it's rendered and as you can see the file size is an mp4 and it will have shrunk down um, usually a 10 minute video for me using those settings that I showed you are roughly um, about f between five and six hundred meg which is well within the two gig you get for YouTube and then that is that so that is how we render the video and convert it into a file size that's recognizable to, uh, for YouTube so there you have it that's how I record and get my videos on to YouTube join me again next time I'll see you soon.